So last night on the way to the cabin, we had a deer decide that it wanted to cross the road when I wanted to go down the road. And now I can't quite open the driver's door. So I'm going to see what I can find here in the lovely woods of my cabin to pull it out and get it somewhat straight. Now if I could only find a stationary large object to pull against to get that out. What do you smell? You smell dead deer? Doing further inspections, trying to tell me how to fix it. That's curled in pretty good there. It's pushed into the door, touching down in that way. Or take Mr. Good Beautiful Tree here. And see if I can find something underneath here. Oh, oh. Yeah, the motor's still there. That's a pause. I don't think that's supposed to be curled up like that. What do you think, Karma? Can we fix it? Get the... What are you doing? Get down. You dumbass. After some further inspections, we're going to need to hook down under here and see that square and see if I can hook onto that and yank and pull. Digging for tools, I found a a broken pry bar. I, this is my high quality. That's the body tool of champions. So that's I got the body tool. If you can't fix it with bailing wire. It just can't be done. Um, the highest quality screwdriver and chain locks and a ratchet set. Uh, I have a dog leash for some straps. I come along in a two by four or two by six and a broken hammer. That. Those are the tools that we will need for today's project. God, it's beautiful, though. I mean, if I could just have my actual shop right here, be able to play in my shop all day and then sleep in my cabin, that every man's dream. All right. Hook's already popped out once. Let's see how it looks. It's moved it back a little bit. It was touching up here before, so we're making progress. Now that we have some good tension on it, I'll take the body hammer at the high points of the dent. Let's give her a little few whacks right there. So the metal starts pulling outward. More parts of the... And if you look, our gap has gotten even wider. Now we'll take body tool number two. And I really don't care about scratching the paint on the door. So we'll put it here, push it down. And that opens that a little bit, and then we'll go down here and work our way down until we can get the door to open. Progress report. That's pulled out pretty tight. The body work on that fold isn't too bad. Fender gap has gappage. Door does openy closey things. Haven't checked hood, but and that's pretty straight. That was curled in really bad before and went that way. So don't think I'm going to have headlights working. So we definitely have to go home in the light. But there. There's that. All right, well, hood's closing straight. Bumper looks straight. Gappage is gappage. 
I mean, hell. It's as good as that garbage. Door does door things. And I think I have one more idea that will make it like you didn't even notice it. I'll give you a hint. No job's complete without it. All right, there's the end process. Totally straight. Can't even see where the deer hit it. That's great. <laughs> uh, yep. There she is. Came out looking so good that I don't even want to buy a headlight now. There you go. My wife wanted to say this is Backwoods McKay or Backwoods Body Shop. There you go. Done. Well, the faux light made it all the way home with the rest of our family. I figured it'd be all blown apart and ripped apart. Even the inner fender that's just kind of tie wired in there is never came in contact with the tire so we've already gone on the ebay and ordered a set of headlights for a whole 50 dollars the inner structure behind the grill and headlights is pretty broken i just replaced it when i hit another deer a few minutes ago so i'll wait to see if i have to get it but if i can't get the headlight to focus or mount properly plus this other headlights pretty weathered out so it'll get two new headlights so that's it the jeep's home after smacking a deer <laughs>